Hi students. So today we are going to start one of our important topic that is very much important from your exam perspective. Uh, UPSC generally asked uh, analytical questions. UPSC and different state services. Uh, like if we are starting a topic, very common topic that is called as fundamental rights. You all must be aware of this. What is this fundamental rights are? There are total six types of fundamental rights what we are having in our constitution. Right to equality, right to freedom and all. So we we are not <clears throat> we are not at all concerned with only what are the articles and what are the provisions of this fundamental rights. But actually what is the provision? What is the basic aspect that is provided by this fundamental rights to the citizen of India? This is the main concern. And what is the analytical question behind it? Means what are they? Questions are like are they challengeable in the courts? How are they uh, means automatically given to citizens of India? Okay. How it decreases I must say the power of government, uh, state government and central government? How are these things? These are the aspects. But additionally I want to tell you one more thing. With this fundamental rights if i link this topic or i make a differentiation of fundamental rights with directive principles of state policies then it is quite easy for you to understand the crystal clear difference what is actually the fundamental right and what is actually directive principles of state policies so actually this is the base this is the basic point what we are going to discuss in today's video is actually directive we can say fundamental rights fundamental rights and another thing is directive principles of state policies this is called as DPSP and these are fundamental rights now fundamental rights you all must be aware okay in coming videos in uh, 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 in uh, upcoming videos I will explain the the importance means what are actually the fundamental rights what are the articles and all but today we'll be studying what are its features we can say what are its char characteristics okay similarly this DPSP also so how is how questions come and how we can interrelate these things let's see let's see very fastly fundamental rights as you all know, fundamental rights are taken from US, USA. Okay, fundamental rights are basically taken from United States of America. Directive principles of state policies are actually taken from Ireland. These are taken from Ireland. Now, what are the things? What are the things that is the that we are going to discuss okay so first of all try to understand what is this fundamental rights see fundamental rights are certain rights that are given to citizens of a country for enjoying their privileges for enjoying their rights just for an example you take certain situations like there is a right to freedom but right to freedom it doesn't mean that if you are breaking traffic rules if you are violating rules and regulations of any organization you are free to do that no there are constraints that we are having on the fundamental rights okay if we are doing in a simple way that fundamental rights are free but having some constraints on them okay these are what other things like we have a right to religion okay right to adopt any religion is also a fundamental right it means that nobody can stop you from going any religious uh, monument or religious place of any of the religions suppose you are a hindu you are a muslim it uh, it, it doesn't mean that you are not allowed to go any particular uh, you are restricted you are prohibited from going any religious place okay these are the examples of the fundamental rights okay so we can say in nutshell fundamental rights are 
privileges given to citizens okay these are the rights that are given to citizens now how this given to citizens given to citizens this i'll let you know what is the given to citizens this is an important term now here i must specify given to citizens what does it means fundamental rights are automatically these are automatically given to citizen if a child born in a society in india say in kerala if he is born so automatically he is privileged with all the fundamental rights this is automatically okay so if he borns in the unit uh, in this uh, in the territory of uni, uh, india if a uh, if father and mother are indians and they are migrated to india uh, they are migrated outside india i must say so he will be also getting this fundamental rights these privileges but now here we will see dpsp r rights that are given by state in the previous video i have told you i have uh, i have given means uh, what is this state state means nothing but a government this is the government getting my point so in the polity if i give you while speaking while explanation if i take the term state it means it does not means the geographical location like mp up bihar this this is not the thing this is your government more specifically state government or central government getting my point so directive principles of state policies are given to a particular person by state or any of the government okay if you ask the question sir can this privileges of dpsp can vary from one place to another yes they can means you can see a example of developed state and developing state like maharashtra karnataka andhra pradesh these are the developed states developing states are example of this bihar up madhya pradesh these are the examples so you can see the privileges of this dpsp in both this condition uh, in both these types of states developed and developing you can find a pt difference you can see in your public distribution system in public distribution system you can see developed states they are providing more privileges as compared to that of dev developing ones getting my point so now this is clear that this is given by state and this is automatically you get when you you are born in particular area okay now fundamental rights are the privileges that a citizen now i need to give more explanation i think on this dp sp see what is this directive principles of state policies directive principles of state policies what is this mean what is this directive means directive means a direction direction what direction direction of policies this direction of policies given to 
state. Direction of policies given to state means showing the path to state. State means again same government. Again state means government. So directive directions of policies given to state. Now how state will get the directions constitution will give the direction who will give simple constitution will give the direction okay so directive principles of state policies is actually the concept of path provider we can say what is dpsp dpsp is nothing we can say it's a path provider if there is an analytical question DPSP is also called, called as path provider of Indian constitution. Path provider to state government. So this is right. This is a concept. Path provider means this is a name given to DPSP. What is this meaning of path provider actually? What is this path provider? Path is something way. It happens certain times. Some of the times it may happen that state government and central government are doing their work state government and central government are doing their work but in certain situation it happens that what to do next what to do next in terms of welfare and development what is the basic work of government your development and welfare so if it is not very clear for its vision if it is not knowing if if he has a black spot, uh, if he has a black uh, darkness, I must say, dark, uh, darkness in uh, front of uh, their visions and views. So what they will do? They will refer this Indian uh, Indian Constitution and they, they will refer the this DPSP. So therefore, it is called as path provider. Okay. So try to understand one of the one of the point that I am trying to explaining you. The, 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 that I am uh, showing you just now see what happens that take an example if you want to dichotomize fundamental right and DPSP take an example what I am explaining you see there are certain things like in public distribution system I will rub this out See, in public distribution system, PDS, in this public distribution system, you have seen a right means the public under public distribution system, there are grants from central government to state government. Means whatever the grains and food the people of below poverty line are getting from this PDS, this is actually disbursed from where central government and state government is including its some of its part and then it is distributed among the poor and people of below poverty line okay see like public distribution system central government provides central government central government provides three things like wheat rice and you can say your maize these are the or you can say oil cooking oil these are the three things central government is providing to state governments and state government will disperse will discharge will distribute this under public distribution system these are the three things now just for an example how it is under fundamental right right to food is going to come in some of the uh, some of days what will happen what will what will be the case every poor citizen every person who is below poverty line will get will essentially get must get these three commodities if a person is not getting any of this three commodity it is what 
this is your violation of fundamental rights this is what your violation of fundamental rights getting my point so this is very important if i say if the central government gives like for an example central government is disbursing to state government like maharashtra if maharashtra government gives wheat and rice and not oil so what he is doing he is hampering your fundamental rights he is not providing your fundamental rights okay so these can be challengeable in the court any of a person can uh, file a pil or any of the person can uh, go to court against this this because these are the three essential things that are given by the central government to the state but state is not providing us okay now see a different case in dpsp you see a different case what is this directive principles of state policies now sorry under this public distribution system you are getting these three things this is your wheat your rice your oil you are getting okay central government is giving this state government is taking this and distributing to its like we can take again example of maharashtra government now this government is giving this three things means central government and state government combining giving this three things now you can say maharashtra is a example of developed state okay so addition to this things means in case of this wheat rice oil plus if it's giving a packet of toothpaste to a citizen yes in economics when you will uh, be going through different uh, your uh, uh, reports related to poverty committees has suggested that toothpaste should always also bring under uh, this public distribution system so this toothpaste if it's adding on its own means these three are funded by central government but this is by our state government this is something extra so fundamental i have completed but additionally i am giving so this addition to fundamental we can say this will come under this category basic i am doing if basic things if i don't do i will go to court against government in this situation okay but this is optional this is optional by the government if government is stable and you can say it's a developed government you can give this otherwise like mp is giving this it's okay but this is not the thing that if maharashtra government is any government any xyz gov government running for 5 years in first 3 years when it was having good funds this is given toothpaste to all of its uh, uh, people of below poverty line of a state but sometime it's happened that there are crisis of econo uh, economic crisis in that situation in last 2 years first year 1 2 3 this is given this but fourth and fifth year this is not given this so it doesn't mean that person belongs to below poverty line or any other person will go to court against this no you cannot go because i must write here these are not non challengeable non challengeable in courts but these are challengeable i must write judicially i must write judicially so what is the point i am telling you these fundamental rights are challengeable in courts and directive principles of state policies are non challengeable in court getting my point if 
government central government is giving these all three commodities if state government is giving this to and it is not giving this you can challenge this Maharashtra government to the court but in this situation okay this is fine this is giving additionally you are giving it's okay but first three years it for, for first uh, during a tenure of any government first three year this has provided free toothpaste to people of uh, below poverty line but fifth fourth and fifth year it's not having proper economic stability so it's so the government is not providing this so you cannot challenge that this toothpaste is not given okay getting my point so this is additional additional things what is this actually but I mean to say I mean to say by this word that directive principles of state policies are for establishment of welfare welfare state getting my point what does this mean then directive principles of state policies are for establishment of welfare state okay we have seen second term what I have earlier discussed your path provider so these both the, the both the terms you keep in mind okay now related to this the, this term I love this related to this term justifiable non-challengeable in judiciary challengeable in judiciary there is one more point there is one point that there is a body government okay so can you tell me that fundamental rights increases power of government or decreases the power of government see here here in this case who is enjoying the rights your citizens automatically the rights are given I earlier I have discussed therefore you need to see that it decreases the power rights of government okay in this situation who is there it will what is this in this situation it will decrease or increase this will increase this will increase the power or rights of government this you need to how this increase or decrease if a citizen is not getting his right then he can challenge so this is what means government is under a threat that if I am not providing this fundamental things state government is under threat in this issue now obviously that if I am not providing the commodity that is provided to me by the central government then I might be challenged by a citizen in the court I means government see here now this is not the issue if toothpaste is optional if I am giving on my if central, state government of Maharashtra is giving or according to its will it's my will I am giving it but this is not mandate in 4th and 5th year I am uh, not distributing the toothpaste packet okay so it's it is this okay now so on the basis of these things on the basis of this discussion we will now have a clear look what is the dichotomy of this dear fundamental rights and DPSP in nutshell okay we look after it
See, in the first, first try to understand from where it has taken. Okay, where it has taken, the basic point is you have taken it from USA, from the constitution of USA. This we have taken from Ireland. Fine. Second, in the Indian constitution where fundamental rights is mentioned and where directive principles of state policies is mentioned. In which part? Okay, so you can say this fundamental rights, fundamental rights is mentioned in part 3 of your Indian constitution and directive principles of state policies is mentioned in part 4 of Indian constitution. Okay, now third important point fundamental rights are challengeable in judiciary. I have given the example, I have explained about this. Now DPSP are not challengeable or you can say not non-challengeable non in Jewish these are challengeable and these are non-challengeable okay what is this what is this actually these are basically for goodness these are basically goodness for a particular person who is this person citizen this is actually whom a citizen these are the rights we have given to citizens each and every person, each person of a society, of Indian society. What is this? Welfare of society. Getting the difference? This is actually for a particular society. This is for a particular person. Establishment of welfare state. This is the main aim of DPSP. Noted down. Okay. Now, next thing is these are the things that are uh, this dichotomy. Now, as I have discussed earlier, these are automatically, automatically. Given to citizens these are automatically given to citizens self given to citizens but these are given by states to state to citizen okay now related to rights if we are saying, if we are saying related to rights, so what are the things that are uh, means who will increase the right of government and who will decrease the right of government? So here we can see in this case rights of government. Here decreases and here government rights. increases okay so government rights increases or decreases and means citizens rights will all will inversely this is inversely proportional actually if gov government is deteriorating its rights then citizens will uplift it right means more privileges are given to citizens so what we can say fundamental rights in nutshell is citizen centric and 
directive principles of state policies are you can say government centric okay so i have discussed earlier also means these are you can say in nutshell a important topic point path provider you can say what is the basic aim of dpsp establishment of welfare state establishment of welfare state okay so this is just for now uh, we are closing this now okay thank you